Good morning, I'm Beatrice Badone, I'm working as an application scientist at Sofion Bioscience in Copenhagen. Um, Sofion is a company which produces automated patch clamp systems, as you can see here, the Coupatch on the left and the Cube on the right, to perform ion channel research and drug discovery in different cell models, also very challenging, such as iPS cells and primary brain cells. Um, for more information, feel free to visit our website. And today I present you a comparison between electrophysiological properties of isolated cells from different models as primary brain cells from mouse neurons and hippocampal rat astrocytes and also challenging models as IPS derived motor neurons. Here you can see also an example of how an automated patch clamp uh, workflow uh, usually is and starting from preparing the assay, then preparing cells with our automated cell preparation site and also preparing solutions, uh, ending with the analysis uh, on our very user-friendly software. Uh, let's start with the results. Uh, here you can see both voltage clamp recordings on experiment performed on cube from mouse hippocampal neurons and how the IV, um, so the current voltage relationship uh, of both sodium and potassium current look like. Uh, you can see here on, also on the right the um, um, action potential recording after a ramp. Uh, to look at changing in excitability and uh, in general uh, these results are comparable to adult neurons in slices. Um, here is also an example of potassium, a potassium current traces recorded on the cube from hippocampal astrocytes and how a 384 Q chip look like uh, on the cube and when analyzing currents uh, the current voltage relation is comparable to adult neurons in tissues. Um, another challenging model are these uh, IPS cells and in particular here I want to show you some IPS derived motor neurons results and you can see the comparison of recording from the Q patch and the cube and how the um, current voltage uh, relationship look like and uh, on the bottom you can see um, how uh, also blockers act successfully on the currents. Here we have also an example of a ligand gated assay with GABA and which on the left panel is applied and then wash out after 30 seconds and on the right you can see uh, an example of a stacked washout so both the GABA and the washing solutions are stuck together ensuring a rapid washout in uh, 0.8 seconds. And um, on the bottom it's uh, just to show you how IPS motor neurons look like during maturation time and the expression of channel is increasing over time, although the success rate is decreasing with time in culture. So uh, this could be explained by the development of the dendritic network, which challenges uh, the harvest procedure. Here I want to show you a disease example modeling of IPS neurons from a spinal muscular atrophy patient and you can see how potassium and sodium traces look like and we have an increase in sodium current uh, in this condition and uh, this is again comparable and in agreement with literature. And the same that we want to show you is also on um, amyotrophic um, lateral sclerosis disease model um, and you can see also the rescue with the corrected mutation in blue and again these results are uh, comparable uh, with liter blue. So uh, in summary uh, from our automated patch clamp systems you can obtain high quality data in gigasids with high flexibility of assay design um, perform voltage clamp and current clamp experiment, enabling discovery of new therapeutics and channelopathies with the possibility to measure both single dose and concentration dependent effects. So all of this uh, can be done in different cell models and even challenging models as uh, I show you today. And uh, to conclude, I want to acknowledge my colleagues and supporters and uh, please feel free to reach me if you have any questions or comments about Sofion and our product. <laughs>